What's up guys, my name is Tim, I'm the Master Mechanic at Zeiten BMW Mobile Services and today, as you can already see, we do have not a BMW. This is a 2014 Porsche Cayman S 981, that's the, the body type as I understand. So I fix beamers, this is Porsche, let's see what the difference is. Uh, we're going to be doing just a standard oil change here and let's get to it. First thing first, uh, this is Cayman S, so the engine is in the middle of the car and this car has basically two trunks, one in the back and one in the front. We don't gonna, not going to be using the front one, but here, uh, why do we need that? That is the spot where you fill your oil. It recommends Mobile One. Uh, as you can see right here, Porsche, like, yeah, Porsche Mercedes, like, always recommend Mobile One, as far as I know. Uh, the BMW recommends Kestrel, the Audi, Porsche, Mobile One, definitely, and the Mercedes, usually Mobile One, as far as I remember. So, uh, this, uh, where you fill up your oil, I'm gonna open it just yet, even though we can. You go. You see, there is a seal right here. Weird. Um, the oil I'm gonna be using today is a liquid Mali because our supplier doesn't have Mobile One, and I like liquid Mali more from the BMW repair experience. So I'm gonna be using that. Um, the rest is pretty much straightforward. What are we gonna need for this uh, oil change? Well, first of all, the oil filter tool. It looks like this. I have exactly the same one for the BMW, but the diameter of the cap is bigger on the BMW. So it's like 86 millimeter and this one is 74.4. So we'll need that, 12 point as far as I remember. Uh, we will need eight millimeter Allen Allen key, Allen socket, it's, it's this 8mm for the drain plug and uh, maybe a couple of extensions like this, like one or two, that's for the for the filter, it's like right in here uh, because it's kind of deep inside in there but that's all and of course your oil pan to collect all the oil let's get down so the drain plug is right here, this is the 8mm there we go, put the oil pan right here, oh, and we see it's dripping right away, that's interesting. Oh, that's gonna be nasty, I can feel that already. Let's see. Uh, the plug was relatively untight. There we go. Uh, this engine capacity is 7.5 liters from what I found is with the filter change, but like, come on, who doesn't change the filter when you're doing the oil change? That's just uh, very weird. Um, it says 725 without the filter change, like that's moronic. So we're gonna drain all of it, like uh, it doesn't feel like it has a sound words in here, definitely not. But I know it's been running a bit of low on oil recently, so we'll see what's left in there, we'll let it drain completely. It's might take a second. So the oil filter is located on driver's side. Uh, this is a uh, left side steering wheel on the car, a normal one. So the um, oil filter is on driver's side, right, pretty much right next to the header. Um, you first install this tool I showed you in the beginning. 
and then extension maybe another one and just take it off as far as I can say like I probably will not be able to show you guys how to do that but you'll figure it out not that big of a deal but it's uh, gonna be messy definitely I've seen this design before it's uh, so that's that's a minus for the Porsche uh, BMW made it better with the filter on top not all of them but uh, still the what the BMW has and the Porsche doesn't it has the drain plug in the oil filter cap so you can drain everything that oil filter holds and then put it back and then take this all and it makes it not that messy let's say on the V8 engines um, the BMW has the filter at the bottom as well but it's kind of made smarter a bit so I'll take the filter out once we drain everything from the oil pan which is still draining and then uh, I'll tell you how messy that was that was a mess but not that big of a mess so that's a good thing another surprise for you BMW owners who might want to buy a Porsche would be that the oil filter as I say in every of my video the BMW oil filter comes with all necessary parts in it so this one so here's the the filter of course uh, nothing special about it and the only other thing we have is the o-ring for the oil filter cap of course which we gotta replace every time we do that but as you noticed probably there is no crush washer for the drain plug for the oil pan of course so that's might be a surprise to you I already knew that so I had one ready for it but that's just weird for me after the BMW experience that you just sell the filter without the crush washer like I mean maybe it's considered reusable but like come on so uh, let's see the other thing is um, taking this filter out it's just it's kind of uncomfortable it's not difficult but it is uncomfortable so here's the old filter leave it here because as any of those 12 points uh, 12 point tools when once you start to remove the oil filter cap it kind of gets stuck in here and well you gotta move it all together and it gets messy like this it gets dirty so we gotta clean it up and we do have let me let me take this one kind of to the bench we'll remove the o-ring and i'll show you where it goes so here's the the o-ring we gotta replace as uh, i hope that the porsche gets maintained better than BMW's and the oil change places always replace the soaring and know how to do that which we know with beamers is not the case so it might get confusing to you because there's kind of two spots here for the o-ring well first of all remember where you took it from the second of all it ends here so don't put it here don't do that and it's as you can see that's part of the thread basically so there's only one spot it can go to it's right here so we lubricated it already Good. I don't need to remove this yet and as you can see as I told you it's kind of stuck in here so these tools they always do get sort of stuck so we'll clean all around it and then I'll clean the filter cap when um, fully installed so there's nothing else to replace in here basically all we can do now is uh, put the filter put it on and refill the oil. What I learned from installing the filter, you'll have to remove 
the tool first from the oil filter cap in order to put it back because it's just not enough room for both of them. It's enough for both of them to come out, but to put it back just makes things complicated. So remove that. Second thing is install the filter first into the where it's supposed to go and then put the cap on. So, and that makes it pretty much straightforward, but it's still, it's kind of uh, weirdly done. So it's not exactly simple, but it's not exactly difficult. Kind of weird. I have weird feelings about it. Uh, now we're gonna be, now we're gonna be using this oil. It's 5W40 Liquid Molly. I prefer this for this engine Cayman S because I do use this car on track and I do prefer a higher viscosity on operating temperatures that's why 40 is right here so and 540 is just enough so it's pretty good so let's fill it up the first one will go in fully and the second one just a part of it I don't like the way the liquid molly makes its bottles like this thin neck uh, I really don't but you can use the funnel uh, it's pretty straightforward without it it's gonna take a while because of the design of the the neck but I can tell you it's kind of it's uh, a bit easier than on BMWs to not spill anything without using a funnel because um, even if you do there's still so much room inside where the cap goes if you look at the cap like all this area it will just go drain inside like that's so you can be not worried about using the funnel at all I mean, I never do, but uh, uh, yeah. everything on target. So the five quarts go in. There is no special procedure like on. Uh, I remember I had the R8 that was a dry sump system, and with the dry sump system, you basically have to start the car, let it run, measure the oil, and then run it again. Here, no such thing. We just fill it up, start the car, measure the oil level. That's it. I hate those bottles. Let's see. So we got approximately six quarts. That's about half. So that's supposed to be um, seven and a half liters. So let's see.
Well, just to double check, obviously, and leaves anything. But once again, this is a messy design of the filter, and it splashes all around the structural components in there, like racing struts and everything. So I wiped it up as much as I could, but I, I do have a feeling that it's still going to be dripping here and there, like, you know, like, the drops, really, nothing big, and uh, I do want to see how it's doing. Now, we're going to move, I'm going to raise it up, I'm going to move back inside the cabin and measure the oil, but to do that, we need to keep it running for a bit. So using the lever to control all those things in this menu, uh, you push outwards, so towards the hood, and there you go, oil measurement, do it again. So nothing yet, and we cannot measure it, let's uh, let it run for a bit, so the, um, the oil temperature is 82 degrees. Basically, let the car run for about 10 minutes and it should give you information about the oil measurement. It's not available now. The car just simply is still measuring. Uh, the oil temperature is 82 degrees. I'd say it's probably when it reaches at least 110, 120, then you will have a uh, measurement available. You might need to drive it for a bit, but um, that's pretty much it. So there you have it guys, uh, the oil change on this Porsche Cayman S is complete. Uh, please let me know in the comments who made it better, BMW or Porsche, regarding the uh, oil change simplicity. I'm leaning towards BMW, my opinion. It's, uh, it's all about the filter. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the filter, I didn't like this design at all, it gets messy. Uh, weird but thank you guys for watching like subscribe share sharing is caring so do all those all those things and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching